um, basically I'm going to be showing you all my blushes that I have in my collection. It's not loads of blushes, but it's currently what I kind of own at the moment. They're not a lot of blushes. I think I have about one, two, three, four, five, seven blushes to show you. And they're all kind of ones that I use or I go back to or kind of like um, use in between, like depending on what kind of look I'm going for or even if I'm going to wear blush, those types of things. So I'm going to get um, straight um, get started straight away. Um, I'm going to start off with one of my sleek blushes. Um, it's one of my favourite blushes. It's the only sleek blusher I have. I used to have a lot of them and then I kind of decluttered and got rid of quite a few because but this was my favourite one that I loved using. It's so highly pigmented and it's um, the blush in Pomegranate. Um, I think they still do this as well and it's about five, four or five pounds I think and I just love this um, blusher. It's such a pretty kind of, it reminds me of um, one of the NARS, one of the NARS blushes, but I can't remember the name of the NARS one, but it's just as highly pigmented as the NARS ones. And I think these ones are like kind of like copying kind of how the NARS um, do in the packaging is quite similar to the NARS packaging. But um, I really loved this colour and this, it's just, you have to be so light handed with it because it's such a pigmented colour. Um, yeah, so I just love the way it, this colour just popped on your cheeks. You only need a subtle colour of it. And the way it blended, the formulation of it, the textures of it, I had no problems with them. I just love how it's such a kind of matte finish blush powder. I, I think it's so unique in itself that I don't see anything else like this in the drugstore kind of blusher section. So I just really love this blusher and I'm so glad I still have it. Um, yeah, and the next blush I want to talk about is the Soap and Glory blusher. I really love this. Um, it's called Love It at First Blush, and I loved it when it first came in the post as well. I ordered it on Amazon. I was so excited about it because I just loved how it looked in, in the store, and I think I got it for a tiny bit cheaper on Amazon. And I just loved how it looked in boots, and I couldn't wait to get it because I just knew it would look great. Um, and it comes with these like two little white tones and then the rest, e these colours all on their own as a just a whole pink if you blend them all together they look great but even singly they look great as well. Such a pink rosy cheeked coloured blush. Again the formulation I have no problems with it. The textures of them are great, a fine powder, don't have any problem blending it out or anything. It just looks great on the cheeks and it's got that tiny speckles of sparkle in it which we all well I love anyway I just love the way it looks I use these wipes to kind of like highlight the inner corners of my eyes it comes in really handy it also has a mirror the packaging is actually not too bad in this and you know you get the mirror in it it's a bonus um, I love this blush as, um, as a drugstore one I just I still love it now I don't mind that it's drugstore either it's just got such cute packaging on the front as well um, yeah, so that's one of my favourite blushes, pink blushes to have. The other one I want to talk about is my Bobbi Brown blusher. It's in the colour Maui and it's an illuminating bronzing powder, but I use it as a blush because I just think it's beautiful as a blush. It just looks so pretty. It's such a pretty te coloured, textured um, powder. It's such a pretty light um pink it's just like a pop of pink but it looks so beautiful on the cheeks when it's actually on i think swatching it just does not do it justice it's such a pretty pink color um again the uh, the pigment is finely textured i don't have any problems with this going on my cheeks i have sensitive skin so none of these blushes affect my skin in any way shape or form um it's just a, such a nice fine pigment it feels really light on the skin you can build it up as well with this color and again it's such a lovely matte textured um pink um blush from Bobbi Brown and I love this. This has to be my favourite blush from Bobbi Brown that I've ever purchased. I love it so much um, and I still use that. Um, I also have this um, I also have this um, blusher from Dior and it's again it's a really lovely light kind of pink colour. It's called Rosy Glow and it's the Rosé Jouet um, collection is yeah, in the colour 001 Petal, but I think they call it Rosy Glow. And this is really, really, I know it looks really bright on camera, it's a really bright kind of light subtle pink, but it's such, it is a subtle pink, and it goes on really subtle. 
and you can just blend it out so well just to get that subtleness of the pink even mix it with another color and I think it looks great with the um, highlight on the cheeks as well I just really loved this color and I really enjoyed wearing it I haven't I think I I've worn it only I it's, it's not too old it's quite a new newer purchase but I haven't used it as much because I was saving it for a special occasion especially when I wore it to a wedding I think in the summer kind of season weddings but this is such a beautiful um blush i love it so 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 much it's kind of similar to the bobby brown one um again where it's that subtleness of the pink but yet the formulation and the pigment of it is just so beautiful i love that blush and this other blush i have is also um this one is from mac and it's kind of a brown i love my brown undertone um blushes as well i have a browny kind of reddish blush from Dior as well and I really love it but that was the pink one I was showing you I do have a brown one but I think it's in my makeup bag at the moment um but it's such a I think it's called Lady Red Dior um from the Dior collection it's such a pretty brownie red textured um blush and I think it's a nicer one for every day hence why it's in my makeup bag and it just really blends well with my skin tone but this blush is um something that I also purchased from an outlet a MAC outlet and it's kind of a brownie undertone with little shimmers in it um, it's called Flare and, um, Flare and Teeth and it's the Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush. It has really tiny particles of um, shimmer in it and that's what I love about um, black, um, black MAC eyeshadows it just is the, the textures of these um, blushes are so finely pigmented and they blend so well and go on so well um, and they look great. Um, you can't go wrong with these blushes like being too shimmery or anything like that I just really really love this um, blush even in the summer I really love it as well as the autumn autumn winter time I just think it can be used in both seasons so I really love this blush I'm still loving it as well I or I think this is the second time I purchased this one I'm really lucky to have found it in the outlet so that's that one and then the other one is more of a newer kind of purchase as well and it's from um, Tarte um, it's an it's a um, kind of a cheek and um, eye palette as well it has one blusher in here and this is my favorite blusher um, I haven't got any other blushes from Tarte but this one just threw me so much because it's so beautiful it's such a subtle brown textured powder it almost looks finely pink um, I love this powder it I can't describe the powder it just sits so well it sits well to all these other different ones that I've mentioned um, it's a very different kind of powder I can't describe how it is it's just so finely textured and it sits very well it stays on really well and it looks very very natural I would say it's a very natural um, matte blusher so I really love that and it's this one right in the middle here and these eyeshadows are beautiful as well. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm really loving that one from Tarte that I always use. Um, the other one I wanted to speak to... We? Okay, hold on. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Um, the last blusher palette I wanted to talk about is the last one I have. Um, is this Revolution blush palette here. It's so beautiful. It's a golden sugar. I love all these colours. I think... Um, this is a palette I kind of always kind of go to if I think oh my gosh I can't find anything um, any blush to wear it's a great selection of blushes you actually cannot go wrong with this if you're looking for um, some blushes and you don't know what to choose I would choose this because I think sometimes if you're looking for blushes for certain occasions and you're rummaging through your selection and you can't find a blush this is always something that you can go to because it has every single type of color that you're looking for and the pigments in these are absolutely gray and fine textured and everything okay so yeah so yeah these um colors are absolutely amazing i mean they have these brown this brown one right here and it's kind of a match um tone it's very subtle again um I don't want to compare it to any other palette I just want to speak about this palette being so great just on its own um, oh, it's got such a pretty book? brown sugary we were talking about powder you, not... Sorry about that. Oh. okay so yeah this brown brown one right here is just amazing and these two are um, really beautiful brown mattes this one looks like 
such a pretty highlight as well. Sometimes I just would use this as a highlight and then this matte one more as a, um, a blusher. They're just such great colours and you can't go wrong. They've also got pinks in them, white as you could use as a highlighter or in the inner corners of your eyes. You've got all these browny, marbly blushes. They just, they're so pigmented and beautiful. I can't speak highly of this blush palette. I just love it so much. I think it's one of those palettes that if I'm really, really struggling to find um, a blusher, I would just reach for this and I have six great blushes to choose from for whichever kind of look I'm going for. I really love this blusher um, set. It's great. And it's, I think, again, it was about £4 from the Revolution um, counter in Superdrug. Um, yeah, I would highly recommend you check that out because I love this blush palette. It's one of my favourites. Um, yeah, so these are all my blushes I have, guys, um, in my collection at the moment. I'm really looking to kind of expand, but then I think too many products kind of like kind of overwhelm um, overwhelm me because I just like to have things that I'm going to be wearing and choosing, but I like to have just a range of things um, that I'm going to use and not kind of not use, if that makes sense. But I am going to be doing... Um, uh, videos on what lipsticks that I kind of have and what kind of highlighters and bronzers I have and also what kind of eyeshadows I have as well so please look out for those those videos and don't forget to comment comment and subscribe to my channel it really helps and please give this video a thumbs up I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching